All right, this is our attempt at making a Minecraft 6502. We're just, we got the redstone out today. Me and Panda Pro. This is Ladnar or Randall Meyer 2000, be my handle, I guess. Panda Pro just made a organ of some kind. I made the flip-flop on the bottom, or actually it's an oscillator, I think. It's just turning the light on and off. Oh, you know what? It's not, it seems like there's a moment where both are on at the same time. Might not be fast enough. But anyway, that's our first attempt. I'm just playing around with redstone. I know there's some electromechanical things happening there. And we should have less... Hey, I can't really get around you because you're... It's three-dimensional. Move! <laughs> and so we don't want that electromechanical switch there. We want to get it purely electrical. But I guess redstone isn't really electricity, so... We're trying to figure out transistors and logic gates, and this is a good start for an oscillator. That was a good... Good first try. Wait, don't turn it off. Um, well, I've got a, I've got some pins that I started with the address pins and the data pins, and maybe I'll just go down and label those, and we'll see if we can't do the 6502, the microprocessor that made a lot of home computing possible by being cheap and good at the same time back in 1975 or four, 75. Thing. So I've got some uh, dress pins, and we'll start there um, with the redstone, and I'll, I'll go label them, but we got to go... Wait, show them mine. Okay, well, walk over and they'll see yours. Yep, he's got one note played over there and two notes over there, so he's playing a chord. So it's a good little oscillator. You should set up a whole organ, uh, Panda Pro. You should have a, uh, I don't know, something. So that's good enough. We'll post this on YouTube and then uh, link to the 6502.org page and maybe somebody will give us a schematic telling us how to build all 3,000 or was it, no, 4,000 transistors. And maybe if we get really ambitious, we'll get some, uh, we'll try the Intel 4004 and some other classic processors uh, before it gets too cumbersome. If there's 10,000 transistors, we might not want to make 10,000. But the ones that are three or 4,000, we could probably do easy. Now, here's one other thing. Here's Panda Pro's um, little project board. I still need to get him a 5-volt regulator, but there it is. There's 74181 Logical ALU. This is Forrest Mims. He was a Radio Shack fella. Uh, did the digital introduction to digital logic, and this is his schematic for how to build a 4-bit computer. So that's what Panda Pro is going to work on. Here we got all the pinout diagrams. I printed them out. So that should be pretty good. 74181, the, the 185, I think that's a bus transceiver, maybe. I forget what that is. The 367, is that a flip flop, maybe? Or a, maybe one of these is a tri state bus. So oh, that's just Leonardo's rhombocubo octahedron. One of the first uh, things that he published in somebody else's book, I guess published that. He drew up the drawings for this other intellectual. Okay, I guess that's enough. You saw our Minecraft. This is the beginning of the 6502 project, and hopefully there will be more to share later. But we have to go post right now. we got to go down to the internet and post this thing.